items that we may need for this session may be a yoga block, maybe a yoga strap, and a blanket to stay nice and warm with. And of course, everything is optional. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. I invite you to find any easy seat that feels good for you as we use this seated position to help relax and soothe our mind and bodies. We are grounding and we are centering. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning our backs are not sunken. It is nice and elongated. We have control over our bodies. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears as we gaze our eyes down. Taking a moment to notice how we feel. As we breathe in, exhale. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe out, center coming into a seated prayer. Maybe allowing the thumbs to touch the sternum if that feels good for you. As we breathe in deeply, hold the breath. Exhale fully. As we relax for three breaths of silent meditation. We may notice that our mind and our bodies are starting to relax and center here. Breathe in. Exhale. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens, feeling this nice body stretch here, allowing the heart chakra to open. Chin is maybe interlacing our hands together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our arms to fall slightly towards the back of the room, building this slight back bend here. We're gonna hang out here for two. Exhaling back to center, we're going to separate our palms, creating some space between our palms. Noticing how this feels. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. We are, we are channeling in anything that is positive and hopeful for us. Using this pose to bring in anything that is good spirited and happy. With the heart chakra open and the chin up, may we relax here for three natural breaths. Eyes gaze down. Breathe in, exhale, two more breaths, breathing our palms to our heart center, we are in our seated prayer, blowing our palms outward towards the side, taking a moment to notice how this feels as we do circular rotations towards the front. We are working on loosening the upper parts of our bodies here. And we can do nice big circles or nice small circles. Maybe trying them both and doing whichever feels best for you and your body at this moment. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we may notice that our arms are already starting to feel the burn as we rotate our arms in the opposite direction. Going nice and big, and then going nice and small and noticing which one feels best for you. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at taking a moment to notice how this feels. And maybe noticing that little small subtle movements can have an impact on our body. You may already be feeling a burn as we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute, interlacing our fingers together, point of finger points up towards the ceiling, shoulders point up towards the ears, 
Our spinal cord gets nice and long here, allowing our arms to relax towards the back of the room. Our heart chakra opens as our chin flows slightly up. Gaze in the eyes down, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Flowing back to center, we are in our salute as we flow down to our prayer. Allowing our palms to relax on the sides of our bodies. Our fingertips are connected to the earth. Tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long. Shoulders melted downward away from the ears. With our eyes gazed down or closed. May we use this time to notice what is going on around us. With our palms connected to the earth, may we be aware of our environment and what is happening within us and around us. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. May we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. As we relax here, two breaths of silence. Breathe in, exhale. Allowing our bodies to lean towards the right, we're gonna come into a seated C-spine. Allowing our left arm to relax, to reach over our head and relax towards the side. Feeling this deep side bend. Allowing our head to melt downward towards that shoulder. Allowing that shoulder to melt downward towards the earth. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, we're going to hold this pose for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Both palms are on the earth. As our bodies lean towards the left, right arm comes up in the air, blowing over that head. Feeling that nice deep sea spine. Head relaxes downward towards the shoulder. Shoulder comes downward towards the earth. Gazing up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, palms are on the earth. As we flow to our salute, reaching our palms above our heads, fingertips reaches towards the heavens. Exhale the prayer. As we flow one to our hands and our knees, Coming into a tabletop position. Knees are hip distance apart. <clears throat> Elbows are nice and straight as we drop our bodies down to our cow. Tummy comes downward towards the earth. As the chin is slightly up, we are in our cow pose. Two breaths. Exhale into cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Going back to our cow as we do cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, taking a moment to notice how we feel at this very moment. As we breathe our right arm up in the air, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch as we gaze up at our right fingertips. Breathe in, exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, head falls downward as we gaze our eyes down, relaxing our bodies here. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. We are in our thread and needle. We're going to hang out here five breaths. Three more breaths.
as we slowly unwrap that arm, we are going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to our cow, exhaling to our cat, lower back to our table, as we reach that left arm up towards the heavens, gazing up at our left fingertips, feeling a stretch, and exhale, thread the needle left side, left arm threads through the right heart chakra, comes downward towards the earth, gaze and the eyes down, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. And if we choose, we can wrap that right arm around our backs, or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. We are in our thread and needle, allowing the shoulder blades to melt towards the earth. We're gonna hang out here for five breaths. Mm -hmm. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we are going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Knees are hip distance apart. Elbows are nice and straight as we drop down to that cow pose. And slightly up. Flow into our cat. Finding our bodies back in our table as we breathe our right leg towards the back. We are going to work on our sunbird here. Tummies are nice and tight. Noticing how we feel. As we extend that left arm forward, we are now in our full sunbird. We are balancing and strengthening here. If for any reason we need to lower our toes downward towards the earth for balance, please feel free to do so. That is a nice option there. So we have our legs straight towards the back or our toes pointed downward towards the earth. We're going to hang out here, balancing and strengthening for four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Hanging out here. Two more breaths. Exhale in the table. Dropping down to that cow. Exhale into cat, flowing back to our table as we extend that left leg towards the back, sunbird opposite side, noticing how this feels. If all feels well, we're going to straighten that right arm in front of us. We are now in our full sunbird. Tummy's nice and tight, keeping in mind that we can always lower those toes downward towards the earth as we are gazing forward. Building strength and balancing here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, hanging out here, two breaths, building strength. Flowing back to table, dropping down to our cow, exhaling to our cat, flowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, finding our bodies back in a seated position, only for a second, we're gonna straighten our legs coming into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Our bodies are still grounded and connected to the earth. As we gaze our eyes down and take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Allowing the shoulders to relax, melt downward away from the ears, ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and elongated here. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, feeling the movements here, gazing up at the heavens, 
Exhale a prayer. We hand at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold. Reaching our hands downward towards our ankles, or if we're able, down to the lower parts of our feet. This here is a full body stretch. And maybe we can gaze our eyes down. Take a moment to go inward in this pose here. As we breathe in, exhale. And I want the torso to melt towards the thighs. With the eyes gaze down and closed. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. As we breathe that, as we breathe back down to a complete forward fold, two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Lower back up to our staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. So we're going to work on our ankles here. We're going to do a couple of Dorsey plantar flexes here. Lifting our toes upwards towards the heavens. Just taking a moment to notice how that feels. Toes are pointed up towards the heavens. As we breathe our toes downward towards the earth. Allowing the feet, the toes to flow downward. Noticing how that feels. Noticing the stretch it has in the lower parts of our bodies and our legs. As we breathe our feet, our toes back up. So we are dorsi plantar and flexing here. Toes are pointed up. We are in our dorsi position. Breathing our toes downward towards the earth. We are now in our plantar position. We're going to hang out here in this plantar position. Noticing how this feels. As we breathe in. And out. As we flow down to a complete forward fold with our toes pointed downward in that plantar flex. Noticing how that is a full body stretch. Reaching down to our ankles or our toes if we're able. And we're gonna hang out here in this full body stretch for four breaths. Keeping the toes pointed downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold as we flow back up to our staff pose. Noticing how we feel as we breathe to our salute, palms are above our heads. Exhale to prayer. As we take our right leg, our right foot is flat on the earth, right knee is in the air. We are going to work on our Sage Marici here. And today we're going to work on Sage Marici one, two, and three, and taking a notice of the difference between the three poses. So we start in our staff pose, taking our right leg up, right foot flat on the earth, knees in the air. This is our Sage Marici prep. Preparing our body to feel comfortable. If all feels well, we're gonna take that right arm and lift it up in the air. Noticing how this feels as we lean our bodies towards the left. Now lean our bodies forward, allowing that arm to come slightly down. And we're gonna wrap this right arm around our right leg. Now we are in our stage Marici. Noticing how this feels. Now we can be in the stage Marici just like this, or we can take this left hand and wrap it around our backs and interlace the right and left fingertips together. With our heart chakra open and our chin slightly up, we are in our stage Marici one. If we should hinge at the hips, allowing our torso to come downward towards our our knee, our thigh. We are now in our Sage Marici two. So maybe playing around with Sage Marici one with our torso open, chin is up, or our Sage Marici two. With our head relaxed down towards our thigh and seeing which one feels best for you. And we're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale 
as we flow up to our stage, we're reaching one, meaning our heart chakra is open and our chin slightly up. And I just want to um, add in that if we should bend this left leg inward, we are still in our stage Marici. So we can either have that left leg bent inward towards the body. We can have that left leg straight out. Both are our Sage Marici ones and our Sage Marici two. And we're going to come on out of this Sage Marici. We're going to straighten our leg. We're going to breathe our palms up towards our salute. Feeling a stretch. Exhale into prayer. As we have our hips coming into that complete forward fold, allowing the torso to melt downward towards the thighs, reaching down to our ankles or our three breaths. Toes pointed downward towards the earth and our planter. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to our staff pose. And we're going to sage Marici opposite side, taking that left leg now, lifting that left leg up, knees in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We are sage Marici in opposite side, positioning our bodies to feel comfortable. Once all feels well, we're going to take that left arm, bring it up in the air, lean our bodies towards the right, lean forward. We're going to take this left arm and wrap it around our left leg. We are in our Sage Marici. We can hang out here. If we choose, we can take this right hand and interlace it, bring it behind our backs and interlace our fingers together. We are in our Sage Marici. We are just feeling the stretch a little bit more. With our heart chakra open and our chin slightly up, we are in our Sage Marici one. If we should hinge at the hips, allowing our Forehead to relax downward towards our knees or towards our thigh. We are now in our Sage Marici too. Maybe taking a moment to practice both and seeing which one feels best for you and your body as we hang out here for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we are going to unwrap that leg. We're going to straighten out our legs back into our staff pose. Breathing our palms back up to our salute, feeling that stretch, fingertips reaching up towards the heavens. Tummies nice and tight, spinal cords nice and long. Maybe we can interlace our hands together with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Shoulders are flowing up towards the ears, feeling that nice stretch. So bringing the shoulders towards the ears. Noticing how that allows us to stretch the body a little more. Tummies tight, heart chakras open, chin slightly up as we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Gaze in the eyes down if that feels good. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing back to our salute as we breathe our palms down that heart center. Connect the hips coming into that complete forward fold, reaching down to the ankles or the feet. Toes are pointed downward towards the earth, feeling that full body stretching. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, coming back into that staff pose. Now we're going to work on our Sage Marici three. We're going to take that right leg, Bringing that right foot flat on the earth. Right knee is up in the air. Yes. Noticing how this feels in our body. If all feels well, we're going to take this right arm and bring it behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. And we're going to take this left elbow and cross it over that knee. And we're going to slightly gaze over that right shoulder. You may feel your spinal twist here. Now we are in a Sage Marici three here. I also like to call this pose a Lord of the Fish because it's, it looks it looks just like this as well. So this is the Lord of the Fish, but also a Sage Marici three. We are gazing over that right shoulder, relaxing our eyes downward or closing our eyes. And you may feel this spinal twist here in this Sage Marici three, or AKA Lord of the Fish. 
And we're going to hang out here in this pose, relaxing and soothing for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're going to straighten out those legs coming back into our staff pose. As we hinge at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold, reaching down to our ankles for our feet. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, come into that half forward fold. As we flow to that staff, and we're going to take that left leg, left knee is in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We're going to do Sage Marici opposite side. We're going to take this left hand and bring it behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. We're going to take this right arm and cross this right arm over that left knee. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, we are in our Sage Marici 3, a.k.a. Lord of the Fish. You may feel your spinal cord relaxing and soothing, and it may even crack in this position. As we gaze our eyes downward and allow our bodies to completely relax, Sage Marici 3, or Lord of the Fish, for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing back to that staff pose. As we hinge down, complete forward fold, reaching down to our ankles or our feet. We're going to hang out here, two breaths. Exhale to half. Flowing back up to our staff pose. And we're going to continue to ground and root our minds and our bodies here today. Staying in our seated position, we're going to flow into a diamond or a butterfly. Coming into a bow position, bringing our feet together, bringing our legs inward, allowing the bottoms of our feet to connect. Feet to feet connection. We are working on the earth. We are plantering our bodies here in the earth in this moment. We are centering. In our diamond or our butterfly, in our diamond, our feet are further away. It is a, it is a hip opener, but it's not as deep. In our butterfly, our feet are closer. It is a hip open and it's, it is a deeper hip open. So maybe trying a diamond or a butterfly, seeing which one feels best for you, ensuring that our heart chakra is slightly open and our chin is slightly up. And just maybe taking a moment to just notice how this feels in the body. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the legs to relax down. Now, some people like to do butterfly wings. I like to do this with kids yoga, but if you want to do the butterfly wings, feel free to do so because it just loosens up the, in the inner parts of your thighs. So we're just taking a moment to notice how we feel in our hips, within our hip flexors. It is the winter time. Sometimes we get really tight. Three breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Now when the legs to completely relax, you may notice that your legs went from being higher to closer towards the earth. Connecting our hands to our feet or our ankles as we do a couple of seated cat cows. Lifting the heart chakra up Chin is slightly in the air, maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. We are in our cow pose. Noticing how this feels, it is a slight back bend. We're also opening up those hip flexors. Two breaths. As we flow to our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Cat pose, two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. Allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Going nice and deep in this back bend here. 
two breaths. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. Just for a moment, as we connect our left hand to our left foot, bringing that left foot off the earth, bringing that foot inside of that hand. Maybe bringing that right foot closer towards the torso for balance if you choose. Spinal cord is still nice and straight. Heart chakra is open as we allow that left leg to straighten out. We are now working the, the um, back of our legs here, our hamstrings. Yes. With the feet to the hand, feeling this stretch. Maybe we can gaze slightly up, closing the eyes, feeling one with the pose. Noticing how we feel in the body. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling that feet inward, noticing how this feels as we switch sides, taking that right hand to that right foot, bringing that right foot off the earth. As we straighten out that right leg, feeling the stretch in our hamstrings behind our legs. Lifting that leg up, breathe in. Exhale. We are allowing the body to relax here. Three more breaths. Feeling a stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg back inward. We are back in our diamond or our butterfly. Only four seconds. As we flow to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. We're going to take that left hand to left foot. We're going to extend that leg out to the side, just like we just did, feeling that stretch. Yes. And if all feels well, we're going to take that right hand to that right foot and bring that right hand and right foot together. Maybe bending both of our knees as we straighten the left and then straighten the right. We are now in our bolt pose variation here. We are working on stretching and lengthening our legs here, filling it in our hamstrings. And if we choose, we can widen our legs here, coming into a wide-legged V, allowing our legs to fall out towards the side, falling deeper into the stretch here. We are working our hip flexors here today. And we're going to hold this pose for four breaths. Tummy's nice and tight and our back is nice and long. We may fall over if our backs are, are not straight. So keeping that back nice and elongated helps keep us helps keep us up. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly bring our legs inward, tummy's nice and tight. We are also working our abdominals and our obliques here. Bringing our legs inward, bringing them together, noticing how this feels. We can bend our knees if we choose, if that feels good for us. Or we can flow down to our diamond or our butterfly if this doesn't feel good for us. We're going to hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow to our diamond or our butterfly. And maybe we can bring our palms at heart center. Spinal cords nice and long. Shoulders melted downward away from the ears. As we gaze our eyes down and slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing how this feels in our hip flexors. Relaxing the body. Going as close as going as close to the earth as we comfortably can. And maybe we can allow our hands to just simply relax on the earth or we can extend our hands in front of us, palms spread on the earth with our eyes gazing on the floor. Whatever you choose, four breaths. Two more breaths.
as we come back up to that diamond or our butterfly, we're gonna take our hands, using our hands to bring our legs inward, crossing our feet at our ankles as we flow back to our tabletop position. We are back on our hands and our knees, knees are hip distance apart, elbows are nice and straight as we drop down to our feet. Chin slightly up, maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades, power pose. Exhale into cat. Lower back to center. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gaze around our feet, our tummies are nice and tight. Maybe we can push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch here. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs from side to side, we are building strength in our arms. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find pause at center, shifting our bodies forward, coming into that high point. Let me stay some tight. We can drop down to our knees and have to to us or come down for no plan. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat, building strength. Exhale into our baby cobra. In our baby cobra, our elbows are slightly bent. Torsos are slightly away from the earth. Baby cobra. As we breathe through our cobra, straightening out those elbows. We are now in our cobra pose. Chin is slightly up. Maybe allowing the shoulders, maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulders. As we flow to our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. Take it a moment to notice that in our cobra, our thighs are on the earth. And in our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. That is the difference between the two. We are still building strength in our arms. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Tummy's nice and tight here. As we drop down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, we are in our dolphin pose, giving our arms, our shoulders a little rest here. In our dolphin, our buttocks is high in the air as we are gazing back at our feet. As we breathe in, hold the breath, exhale. And if we choose, we can walk our feet closer towards our torso. Noticing how the buttocks comes higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares the mind, body, and skin. May we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose, allowing our torso, if we're in our child's pose, our torsos are relaxed between our thighs. If we're in our puppy pose, our knees are closer together with our buttocks slightly higher in the air. Whatever pose you choose, our heart chakra is connected to the earth. And maybe our third eye chakra, our forehead, is also connected to the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward as we are connecting and centering and finding the answers that we seek. We are going inwards here. Heart chakra is connected to the earth. Third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. As we relax, soothe, and center the five natural breaths. Mm. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Four more breaths.
two more breaths. As we are feeling one with the universe, we are going to go bonus here. We're going to do three more breaths of focus here. Relax. Going inward. Breathe in, exhale. With our eyes still gaze down or closed, may we extend our palms in front of us if they were not already. Arms are extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We are, we are in our extended child's pose or puppy pose. Maybe we can rock our bodies, swaying our bodies from side to side in this pose. Continuing to work on our hip flexors. Two breaths. As we slightly gaze forward, with our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spine away our bodies out of this position, using our palms to push our torsos forward, feeling the spinal wave, using our palms to push our butt up towards the heels of our feet. And we're going to do three spinal waves to our natural breath. Noticing how this soothes and relaxes the spinal cord. Tummy's nice and tight. And if we choose, maybe we can have some fun and allow our neck, our cervical spine to relax into this pose as well. So moving and flowing the entire spinal cord here. Moving the hips, moving the tummy, the spine and the neck. Three more breaths. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Feeling relaxed. Feeling soothed. Mm. Feeling awakened. As we find our pose at center, coming back into that table, knees or hips distance apart, elbows or nice and Straight here as we drop down to that cow. Exhaling to cat. Flowing back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing at our feet. Tummies nice and tight. Hmm. Finding our pause, shifting to high plank just for a second. Tummies tight, two breaths. Exhale back, down dog. Hmm. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold, allowing the torso to relax over the thighs. We are going to come off the earth here for a moment. We are in our complete forward fold, noticing how this also is a full body stretch. Allowing that head to melt completely down, eyes gaze down or closed. As we breathe in, exhale. Allowing our hands to touch our ankles or the earth. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And maybe we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart, coming into a rag dial. We're creating space for balance here. Connecting our hands to our elbows, allowing our bodies to relax and rag dial. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Maybe we can sway our bodies from side to side in our ragdoll. Maybe walking our feet slightly further apart as we sway the body. 
Noticing how we can feel this behind our hamstrings, feeling that nice deep stretch here. With our eyes gaze down to close, we're gonna sway our body in our rag doll for four more breaths. Mm. Mm. Taking nice slow movements here if you choose. Two more breaths. Mm. Finding our pause at center, coming back to that complete forward fold. Exhale into half, forward fold. Chin slightly up. As we breathe to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, our palms are at our side. Maybe we can walk our legs from side to side. Just take a moment to notice how this feels in our hips. We did do a lot of hip openers here today. Just walking our feet from side to side. As we find our pause in our Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, palms are together. Interlacing our hands with our pointed finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakra slightly open, chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, this is a nice slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are in our salute. Bringing both our palms together. Salute pose. As we separate our palms, our palms come apart. We are now in our extended mountain. Yes. So palms are apart and I will salute our palms are together and I will extend the mountain palms are separated just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two and if we choose we can slightly come up on our tippy toes feeling this full body stretch here we're also balancing the body we are on our tippy toes this is an option two breaths Exhaling off of our tippy toes, we are back to our flat feet. We are still in our extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, we are in our standing crescent moon, filling this side bend here. And if we choose, we can slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center as we allow our bodies to lean towards the opposite side. Crescent moon. Slight on um, filling this side in here. Gazing up at the heavens if we choose, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing to our salute, bringing our palms together. Exhaling to our prayer. Breathe in. Exhale. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from the ears. Our palms are at heart center. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. Our tummy is nice and tight as we are slightly gazed downward or closing our eyes. We are gonna get lost in our standing pose here. Taking a moment to notice how we feel at this very moment, as we are standing tall, as we are standing strong, as we are standing for what is right as we are standing for what we want, for what is best for us. Breathe in. Exhale. Keeping our palms at heart center if we choose, with our eyes gazed down or closed, may we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths.
two more breaths. Taking a moment to notice how we feel at this very moment. Being aware of what is going on within, without judgment, simply notice it. As we slightly hinge at our hips, keeping our palms at heart center if we choose. Half forward fold, palms are at heart center, chin slightly up, eyes are still gazed down. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose, our palms are at heart center. We are in our chair pose, building strength, lower parts of our bodies here, tummies tight. We can extend those palms in front of us if that feels good for us. We are building strength and balancing here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, twisting our bodies towards the right, chair pose, twist, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, chair pose, twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, hanging out here, two more breaths, building strength. Exhale, complete forward fold, relaxing the body. This is a counter stretch. We are relaxing and soothing what we just did. Gaze in the eyes down or closing them. As we breathe in, exhale. Complete forward fold, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. As we flow back up to our Tadasana, the palms are at our side. And we're going to come into a wide legged Tadasana. Bringing our feet outward away from our bodies, away from the center of our bodies. We are in a wide legged Tadasana, taking a moment to notice how this feels. Front chakras open, chin slightly up. We are still standing tall here. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale down to our goddess. Bending our knees, feet comes out towards the outer parts of the room. We are in our goddess pose, standing strong, feeling like gods and goddesses here. We can be in our cactus hands if that feels good for us. We are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies here. We can breathe our palms above our heads in our salute or our extended mountain. Or we can flow to prayer. Whatever you choose in your goddess stance, four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. We're almost there. One more breath. Exhale, come into a standing star, straightening out those legs, bringing the palms outward towards the side. Standing star, heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. Fill in a moment here as we breathe in. Exhale. Two breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale back down to that goddess, bending those knees. We're going to come to any goddess that feels good for us. Prayer hands, salute, extended mountain, cactus hands, whatever you choose. Uh, three breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we are feeling the burn, and we're going to keep on flowing here. We're going to goddess pulse up and down. Three breaths. Pulsing the body up and down if you choose. 
as we find our pause, as we got us rock, rocking the body from side to side, feeling the body grow stronger and stronger. Three breaths. Finding our pause at center as we breathe our palms above our head in that goddess salute. Exhale a prayer. Exhale wide legged forward fold. Allowing the body to relax down. Head close forward. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Wide legged forward fold allows the body to relax and soothe here. Four more breaths. Maybe we can sway the body from side to side if that feels good for us. Noticing how that feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming into a half forward fold. We are still wide-legged here. Heart chakra is slightly up as we work on a cross body stretch. We're going to take this left hand and connect this left hand to this right foot, simply touching it. We're going to take this right arm and wrap it around our backs, how we do in our thread the needle. And we're going to slightly gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling this spinal twist, it is also a full body stretch. As we gaze our eyes down here and relax to four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming back to that wide legged forward fold. Exhale into half forward fold. As we cross body stretch opposite side, right hand comes towards that left foot. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling this body, feeling this spinal twist is also a full body stretch. Four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, come into that wide legged forward fold. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we walk our hands to the front of our yoga mat, we're gonna bring our legs together. Tummies tight, we are back in that down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our pose as we come into a three-legged dog right side, bringing that right leg up in the air, nice and high, gazing back at that foot. Ooh. As we breathe that right knee towards that right elbow, feeling that crunch, back to three-legged. Right knee to right elbow, back to three-legged. Right knee to right elbow, back to three-legged. Hold it for two breaths. Exhale, we're gonna come into a pigeon pose, bringing that right foot forward, crossing that right foot in front of the body. Left foot is out towards the back. We are in our pigeon pose here. Taking a moment to relax and soothe, to simply go inward. As we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center as we relax our eyes downward. And if we choose, we can lower our torso towards that front thigh, coming into a sleeping pigeon. Gaze in the eyes down or close in the eyes if that feels good for you.
allowing the torso, the heart chakra to melt forward over that thigh, heart to thigh connection. You'll notice your heart rate starts to soothe and regulate. As we go inwards here for four, let's make it five natural breaths. Sleeping pigeon or awakened pigeon, whichever feels best for you. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken out of that sleeping pigeon, using our palms to push our torsos away from that thigh, as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, maybe connecting our left hand to our left leg, simply just touching hand to leg. Gazing over that shoulder. And if this feels well, maybe we can lift that left foot up towards our hand, coming into a king pigeon or a mermaid. We can always use a strap, wrapping that strap around the foot, if that feels good for you. We can be in our king pigeon or our mermaid when our legs are slightly off towards the side and it's in our elbow. Or we can simply hang out in our pigeon or sleeping pigeon. Whatever you choose, pigeon pose of your choice, five more breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale in the leg back in front of, back behind us. Pigeon pose, bringing that leg down. Coming forward, framing that leg with both of our palms as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center as we breathe to down dog. Bringing that foot back. Tummy's nice and tight as we walk our dog, down dog. Finding our pause as we shift to high plank, tummy's tight, two breaths. Exhale, back down dog. As we flow to a three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left leg in the air nice and high, gazing at that foot. Breathe in, knee to elbow, flowing back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, lower back to three-legged, knee to elbow, lower back to three-legged. <sighs> Holding it here for a couple breaths. Exhale, pigeon pose opposite side, bringing that left foot forward, right foot is straight towards the back. As our bodies are slightly gazed forward, as we gaze over that left Elbow here, feeling that spinal twist. Exhale back to center, noticing how we feel in our bodies as we flow down to our sleeping pigeon, if that feels good for us. Or we can relax here in our pigeon, whatever we choose. May we gaze our eyes down and relax them. If we're in our sleeping pigeon, allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward. Five breaths. Three more breaths.
awakening from that sleeping pigeon. We are back in our pigeon pose as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder. Maybe connecting that right hand to that right thigh. Simply just touching right hand to right thigh. Notice how this feels. And if all feels well, maybe we can lift up that right foot, connecting the right foot to the right hand, flowing into our king pigeon or our mermaid, keeping in mind that we can use our yoga strap if that feels good for us. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. Or we can flow back down to our sleeping pigeon or regular pigeon, whatever feels good for you. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we relax that right foot down, framing our front leg, as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Exhaling back to center as we breathe back to our down dog. Pressing our torso towards our thighs, tummies nice and tight. Mm. Exhale to high plank. As we flow to our up dog, back to our ears. Chin is slightly up, up dog. Exhaling down to our cobra. Now our thighs are on ears. As we flow to our baby cobra, bending our elbows here. As we flow down to our sphinx pose. Coming on our forearms. We are in our space pose, relaxing on our forearms, ensuring that our shoulders are melted away from our ears. We want to have control of our bodies. We don't want to be soaking. Nice control. With our eyes gazed down or closed. Noticing how this is a slight backward. Allowing the body to relax and soothe it. Before natural breath. Breathe in, exhale, two more breaths. As we allow our bodies to flow completely downward on our tummies, we're gonna come for a superman or a supergirl, extending our palms in front of us, palms are off the earth, our thighs, our feet are all the earth. We are in our superman or supergirl. As we, if we choose, swaying our bodies from side to side like we are flying. We're going to hang out here in a swaying position where we can stay still. With three breaths, gazing forward. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose. Palms are facing up towards the heavens. Feet, thighs are still off the earth. We are in our locust pose. Notice how our heart chakra is off the earth. Chin is slightly up. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our right hand to our right foot, we're going to flow into a bow pose. Now we're in a half bow, right foot to right hand. If this half bow feels good, we're going to connect this left hand to this left foot. Heart chakra comes further off the earth. We are now in our full bow pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale, relax in the thighs, relax in the feet. Woman, those hands back forward, crossing our palms on top of each other, keep us to speak those here. Yes, allowing our cheeks or our chin or our forehead to relax on the palms of our hands, gazing our eyes down or closing them, allowing the torso and our shoulders to melt forward into the yoga mat. We are melting and connecting with the earth. 
as we have our eyes closed or gazed down. May we go inward. May we relax and soothe for eight natural breaths. Six more breaths. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Keeping our eyes gazed down if, if we choose. We're gonna come on back up to our Sphinx pose, coming up to our forearms. Shoulders are melted away from the ears here. This is a slight back bend. Our eyes are still gazed down. Thanks, pulls for natural breath. Two more breaths. As we flow our bodies onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart, elbows are nice and straight as we drop down to our cow. Exhale into our calves. Lower back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, finding our bodies in a seated position, any seated pose that feels good for you. I am gonna come into a cow face. May you find any pose that feels comforting for you. Keeping our eyes down, gaze down or closed if that feels good. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and long here. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Breathing our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Two breaths of silence. Maybe keeping our eyes gazed down or closed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.